Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, July the 22nd, entitled, How Can They? Now, Sunday morning we were talking about the call that God has given us is that we would be His hands and His feet. In fact, speaking of feet, in Romans 10, beginning in verse 13, we read these words over and over, How can they? And here's what he says, Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. It's available to everyone. Anyone that will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. But then he carries on. But how then can they call on the one that they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one that they have not heard of? And how can they hear unless someone come and speak to them? And how can someone speak to them unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. Again, how can they hear? How can they believe? How can they know this truth unless someone are those hands and feet? How does that take place? It takes place person to person, one on one, sharing the hope that we have and letting it carry on through our life. As we said, don't let the chain of love in with you. If you have been touched by the presence of the Lord, if you've been healed, if you've been made whole, if you've been changed, you have a story to tell. If your life is healthier now, you have a story to tell. And there are people that need to hear that story. They're not going to know what is available unless someone is a credible witness. So, as we used to say, has a testimony, a story to tell. And so we ask the question, how can they? How can they know? How can they understand? Unless someone who is already known and understands has a part in a person's life, impacts them. Don't let the chain of love end with you. Don't let it end with me. Be willing to be that person who goes, who encourages, who blesses, who shares. It can be you. It can be me. It's what our Heavenly Father has asked us. So let's pray. Father, we know that, uh, that you are sovereign and you watch over everything that goes on. But Lord, you said that we are to be your hands and feet. You said how beautiful are the feet of those that bring good news because they bring that hope. They bring that story, that truth. And Lord, you've asked every one of us to be one of those individuals that brings that life, that brings that hope, that brings that truth. Lord, give us the ability to see that we have a story to tell, that we have a testimony, a life-changing event that has shaped who we are. And all we have to do is just share with others that truth. Lord, give us the uh, ability to uh, just be real, to be authentic, to just share what your presence has done in our life. And Lord, I know you can take that and make that an effective tool in life change in others. Lord, do that work in and through us in Jesus' name. Amen. Go, because how can they unless we share what God has done for us? Let your light so shine, Scripture says, that people will see and recognize your Father in heaven. And I'll see you tomorrow.